Hello everyone. Now we shall be discussing about endocrine system and adolescence. So I am choosing from the book called Concise Selena book. If you are using other books such as Leaving Science etc. You can also view this video. So let's we get started. So we have two types of glands in the human body. The first is known as the exocrine gland and the second is known as the endocrine glands. These two glands perform various functions in a human body. In this chapter, we will basically discuss about endocrine glands. Now, we should see the definition of exocrine glands first. <coughs> what are exocrine glands? Exocrine glands are those glands which will send their secretions called as enzymes through the ducts to the target organs. So, what do you mean by that? So, there is a pictographical representation in figure 5.1. See, this is the exocrine gland. These exocrine glands are also known as duct glands because these glands will send their secretions called as enzymes through the ducts. See, there are the pipes. Through these pipes, they will send the, these glands will send their secretion to the target organs through the pipes. These are known as ducts. Okay. What are the examples of um, exocrine glands? The first example is your salivary glands pancreas so these two examples are your exocrine glands so then what is endocrine glands endocrine glands are ductless glands exocrine glands are duct glands whereas endocrine glands are ductless glands these secretions are known as hormones which are directly poured into the blood stream and then carried to the blood to the target organs so this is the pictographical representation of endocrine gland so in this endocrine glands there are no ducts that's why they termed as ductless glands so they will send their secretions these secretions are known as hormones we will see the definition of hormone further through the uh, to the target organs through the blood vessels to the uh, through the blood okay so endocrine glands do not have uh, uh, pipes or ducts to carry their secretions so they will send their secretions directly into the blood and blood will carry to the target organs now <clears throat> we will uh, learn detail about endocrine glands so hormone producing glands are known as endocrine glands what are endocrine glands hormone producing glands which do not have any ducts okay and these glands do not have any ducts and they pour the secretion directly into the blood so i said the example remember this uh, what's that uh, pictographical figure you can directly understand they do not have any ducts see they do not have any ducts so that's why they are known as ductless glands and they pour the enzyme directly into the blood and blood will carry to the target organs therefore they are called as ductless glands the secretion of these glands are known as hormones are secreted in very small quantity yet Though they are very small, but they perform a vital function in the human body, and uh, their effect is more, uh, more significant in a human body. What is hormones? We know uh, endocrine glands produce the hormones. So that's why they are known as hormone producing glands. What is the definition of hormones? Very important. Hormones are the substances secreted by endocrine glands, which are directly poured into the blood streams and acts on the target organs. This is the ideal definition of hormone. So in this chapter, we will basically discuss about four um, and the most important endocrine glands such as, such as thyroid, adrenal, pancreas and pituitary glands. These are the four and the most important endocrine glands uh, which we are going to discuss in this chapter. Thyroid glands. What is this thyroid gland? Thyroid gland is a bilobed gland. Bilobed gland means there are two lobes. This was one lobe. Uh, this is one lobe and this is one lobe. These are the bilobed glands, either side of the uh, situated on either side of the windpipe, just below the larynx. So they are either side of the windpipe, just below the larynx, below larynx on the either side of the windpipe. These thyroid glands are present. What's the location? Means you should mention that. And it secretes hormones. What is the hormone secreted by thyroid gland? Thyroxine, and uh, location. Okay, uh, which is iodine containing protein. The thyroxine hormone contains iodine containing protein. Okay, what's the constituent? What is uh, thyroxine made up of? Means iodine. Okay, these hormones speed up the rate of the uh, most of the activity of the body. It stimulates growth in infants. What's the function? It stimulates means it increases the growth in infants. Means in childrens. Insuff insufficient means less secretions of this or over secretion of this causes a serious effect on the body 
if it is less secreted insufficient secreted of these hormones means what does it cause the first is your simple goiter goiter you might have heard it's common in the c coast area goiter is a alimentary cause due to the enlargement of thyroid gland it appears as a swelling in the neck it occurs due to the insufficient of iodine in our daily food okay uh, if iodine content is less uh, in the uh, in what we are eating in the food in the meal we eat then the uh, what you know thyroxine level will decrease insufficient thyroxine will happen if insufficient thyroxine happens it will cause simple goiter we know that thyroxine is containing iodine iodine is is necessary is essential for production of thyroxine okay so see that's only given thyroid is uh, most common in the parts of india and use of iodized salt is recommended because they are th th because iodine is required for production of thyroxine i've said earlier also so because thyroxine is made up of which constituent iodine iodine containing protein that's why iodine is important so we should use iodized salt which is containing iodine the next insufficient secretion of thyroid gland causes cretinism what is this cretinism cretinism is alimentary which bring about abnormal developments in infants and result in both physical and mental retardation in the sense cretinism is a alimentary uh, a thing which brings the abnormal development in the sense um, development of six fingers polydactality we will call okay those abnormal development and uh, which brings in for both physical and mental retardation in the sense weakness the third uh, problem which is caused due to the insufficient secretion of the thyroid gland is your maxodemia maxodemia is seen in the adults adults whereas cretinism is found in the children's infants in the sense children's so this is the major definitions uh, differences okay and um, what's the symptom of uh, the maxodemia it shows a general suggestion with the swelling on the face and the hands so this is the one of the uh, symptom they may ask the differences of cretinism and maxodemia cretinism is for children's maxodemia is for adults cretinism what's the what's the word what we'll call the conditions of cretinism or symptoms of cretinisms it show it it shows abnormal development in infants and maxodemia it shows general uh, swellingness on face and hands and all now if it is over secretion of thyroxine that's of produced by thyroid gland it causes a metabolic rate increased metabolic rate metabolic rate will increase what is metabolic rate the normal thing which is going on our body okay increase in heart beat weight loss general red, uh, restlessness or the symptoms which is caused due to the over secretion of the thyroxine so both over secretion and uh, insufficient secretion need to be memorized with uh, the conditions and all so here the most important points i need to suggest to you is the location of thyroid gland where it is located either side of the windpipe just below the larynx and uh, which hormone does the thyroid gland produce thyroxine and this thyroxine contains iodine containing protein and what's the main function of the thyroxine it stimulate the growth in children that's of infants insufficient secretion leads to simple goiter cretinism maxodemia over secretion leads to increase in metabolism weight loss and general restlessness and increase in heartbeat also now we will discuss about adrenal glands what are these adrenal glands adrenal glands are glands which is situated like a cap over the kidneys okay each adrenal gland consists of medulla and periphery cortex and these secrete a hormone called as adrenaline one more question uh, most of the time this question comes what's the hormone secreted by adrenal glands uh, adrenaline and what's the hormone secreted by thyroid gland thyroxine what's the hormone secreted by pancreas what's the hormone secreted by pituitary these questions might come be careful about this and this adrenaline is also known as emergency hormones and these hormones are produced when the person is in stress emotions and this hormone is called as fight or flight hormone because it, this hormone provides a extra energy or strength to fight or flight on the given situation and what are the uh, uh, symptoms of uh, uh, symptoms uh, when this hormone is produced it increases the heart beat and rate of respirations and uh, accompanied with the rise in blood pressure increase in blood supply to the muscles uh, uh, rise of glucose in the blood liver etc are the main uh, symptoms and if you add glucose to the liver it's like uh, adding more fuel to the engine the glucose is more means you can do any work 
easily right with the what are the symptoms of uh, symptoms caused due to the release of adrenal glands due to adrenaline means it increases the heart rate and increase the blood pressure increase the increase the blood supply to the muscles and all are the symptoms see this is a structure is given so these are the cap like structure situated on each each kidney so that's the location okay so uh, we have told adrenaline has two types um, the first is your medulla and the second is your cortex we have discussed medulla above and now we will discuss about the cortex cortex secrete many hormones okay many in the sense um, most of the hormones it secretes and well known hormone is testosterone you need to remember it and this in general the cortical hormone influence carbohydrates fats proteins metabolisms so what is the main function of the testosterone also known as cortical hormone it's 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 will uh, influence the carbohydrate fats proteins and metabolisms and also regulate salt and water balance in the body they adapt to the body to the stresses such as extreme cold or infections is again this is an important point you need to remember we have discussed about the medulla medulla the central medulla which is acting like a fight or flight hormone which help in escape in the emergency situations okay such as severe stress physical and emotional fearful angry this hormone prepares the body to meet a emergency situations whereas this hormone whereas the cortical hormone christos uh, uh, which is also known as christone which is produced by adrenal cortex secretes many hormones well known hormone is a christosterone and this hormone adapt the body to the stresses extreme heat extreme cold infections this hormone produces the immunity pancreas what are pancreas pancreas are situated behind the stomach although their main digestive glands they they contain cluster of hormone known as islets islets of langerhans so what is the location of pancreas pancreas are situated behind the stomach behind the stomach and it's a main digestive gland and it secretes the hormone producing cells known as islet of langerhans and there are two principal hormones secreted by pancreas the first is insulin and the second is glycogon so glycogon not glycogen do not confuse among them so insulin insulin is a hormone which lowers the blood which lowers the glucose in the blood so what's the function of insulin it lowers the glucose in the blood streams how does it lowers by converting extra glucose into glycogen it lowers the blood level by introducing the cell to burn extra glucose to produce heat and level heat and um, energy it lowers the glucose and the third process by which it lowers the glucose in the blood is it convert the glucose into fats by these three process it lowers the glucose what happened if the insulin is pro uh, pro uh, produced in the insufficient less if it is produced means what is going to happen it causes it causes diabetes mellitus also known as diabetes in which the person become high concentration to the sugar what's the symptom person become high concentration to the glucose or sugar level okay and its urine uh, it, its urine will be loaded with the sugar and feel very thirsty because due to the loss of water this is a symptom of diabetes now if the insulin is produced in the over secreted over secreted means it causes very harmful and may serious consequences sometimes death also insufficient secreted means diabetes over secreted means harmful effect may happen now glycogon what is the glycogon glycogon is a hormone which increases the sugar level in the body or glucose level in the body sugar is glucose the hormone which increases the or raises the sugar level glycogon hormone which decreases the sugar level or glucose level insulin and glycogon um, uh, uh, how does it increase the glucose by converting extra glycogen in the liver to glucose it will uh, raise the sugar level in the body pituitary pituitary hormone is very important pituitary is also known as uh, master hormone pituitary is a pea sized gland located below the brain this is the location location function location functions the, so there is a chart in page number 45 okay figure 5.1 in which the gland thyroid gland is given location is given hormone is given function is given that you memorize means you can easily score you can easily 
uh, score much marks okay and this pituitary secretes several hormones now uh, i have said that this pituitary hormone secrete many hormones which is that's why it's called as master hormones which regulates the activity of other endocrine hormones so this pituitary hormone secretes many hormones and this hormone regulates the activity of other hormone also that's why this hormone is called as master hormone or master gland why this gland is known as master gland because this gland not only secrete hormone but it also regulates activities of other hormone also that's why now so see the location of various glands present in the human body the first is your pituitary hormone which is situated in the brain second is your thyroid hormone which is situated on the either side of the windpipe and the third is your adrenal line which is cap like hormone on the what's on the kidney and the next is pancreas and the second the third and the fifth is your ovary or female hormone um, ghs dhs hormone are there um, you will learn in class 10th detail and the third is your uh, and the last is your testes hormone which is in the outside this is the only hormone which is in the outside let me outside of the body the only hormone produced outside of the body in the sense uh, in the genital area okay so these are the main hormones uh, in which uh, we are going to learn we will learn only about these four hormones and the last two we will learn detail in the grade 10